Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great day today. You're going to continue in the book of James. James is so good. I, I tell you, you just want to spend a, a good time of Bible study, reading, praying, and just meditating on the Word. Read the book of James. There's so many good things there. Today we're going to be in verse 11 and 12. It says this, Do not speak evil of one another, brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There's only one lawgiver who is able to save and destroy. Who are you to judge another? And I guess we could just leave it at that. Who are we to judge another person? And the things that I always say about judging or accusing or those kind of things, the Word of God judges. Uh, I referred to a couple of days ago, you know, Jesus' conversation with Nicodemus when he talked about people that, that, um, that turn away from the light. They're actually judging themselves by their actions. And you and I don't have to point out, say, hey, look at that. You know, you're, you're doing this or you're doing that. Uh, what, what good is that? What are we accomplishing? Is anything good going to come from me pointing my finger at another person? Or go behind their back and say, oh, do you know what so-and-so did? Oh, my goodness. They are, oh, how did, I just don't know how in the world they can do that. Uh, listen, <laughs> you and I have enough trouble just you know, living our own life and doing those things that are pleasing to the Lord and making the right choices, which we don't always do. We make wrong choices, and we make wrong choices on purpose. It's not like somebody puts a gun to our head and makes a sin. We do it because we want to, and we make that decision. We always talk about the difference between a mistake and a bad choice. Is a mistake is inadvertent. Like, I didn't intend to do that. I tripped. I set you know, the a.m. or p.m. instead of a.m. on my alarm clock. Uh, something that you know, maybe I could have avoided if I would have just taken be a little more careful. Anyway, the point is that you and I, we are so flawed. We don't have the right to judge any, anyone. And when we really think about it, is the ju what is the judgment supposed to accomplish? Are we, if we really cared that much about someone else's sin, pray for that person. Pray for them. Lift them up. Encourage them. Don't point your finger at them or tell other people, like, oh, I can't believe this person. You, if you really care that much, you'll spend a lot more time praying and less time accusing. Anyway, guys, let's don't judge. Let's pray. Let's lift up. Have a great day. God bless you, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.